So just in review here, uh, there's a lack of knowledge uh, that Abraham has to overcome. There's fear that has to be overcome. And then time. You're just going to have to wait on the Lord. Like, can you wait on him? Uh, wait on him. Uh, man, we're so excited about the Philippines. And um, there's so many things that I can tell you, stories about what has happened. My, um, my wife's grandmother grew up, uh, of course, all her family is from the Philippines. Uh, there's a great story. Uh, many years ago, an American missionary came to the Philippines. And was knocking on doors and happened to knock on my wife's grandmother's house. And her family got saved. And uh, her grandmother, uh, just about a week ago, passed away, but passed on um, the heritage, the Christian heritage to her family. And because of that, because of an American missionary going all the way to the Philippines, now I have a Christian wife. Amen. I'm so thankful for missionaries. Amen. Pray for your missionaries. Amen. Um, we're so privileged to be able to go now. Um, you know, we, we really wanted... Uh, we really wanted God to do something in our lives uh, in the Philippines. Uh, we always had a burden, but just because you have a burden for something doesn't mean God has called you into that. So we really wanted to be sure. And uh, in 2016, the national pastor of the Philippines came to me, said, Tom, you've been coming to the Philippines uh, now all these years. Uh, would you consider going to the Philippines to be a, a full-time missionary? Would you come? If God wanted you to do that. I, man, that scared me. I, I had desires for this life. I had a, a desire to, to work in our church and, and to support other missionaries and to go on mission trips. Um, but man, that scared me. I'm a whole body. Um, my, my family, if I could just be really transparent with you. Um, my parents, you know, they're Christians, but they had a hard time with it. Um, for them, that's their, their grandchildren leaving. And uh, we're, we're just going to stay in the Philippines. As long as God wants us to be there uh, to do the work that He wants, but you know what? There's there's some separation uh, that's going to happen. Uh, pray for the Beeman family. Pray for your missionaries. They experience things and they they see things that um, uh, they can't always talk about. So pray for them. Be in prayer. Uh, I'm so privileged and uh, honored to, to, to know uh, Pastor Hibner and the advice that he's given me to that questionnaire. Tom, are you praying enough? I, I've had to. To be really honest, no, I wasn't praying enough. I have to pray more. And my wife and I, are, um, we pray for our supporting church. We pray for the places that we go to. We need prayer. If you want to live a life by faith, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to pray. Um, Abraham had to overcome some things. And to live a life by faith is not the easiest thing to do. But the just shall live by faith and not by sight. How much of your life are you living by sight versus faith? It's just evaluate each of our lives and think, God, is there something that you want me to do by faith? There's so many promises and truths in this Bible, uh, but to do that, you're going to have to step out by faith and believe that uh, God is going to make the, those things uh, come to pass. And, and these men and women of faith, uh, it says in verse uh, number 13, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off. And were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on this earth. Uh, these men and women of faith realized that what God had for them was going to be better than what they could do for themselves. What God has for you by faith is worth more than what you can do. I had to, to, to let go of all those things that I thought were so important. And I had to let go of the things that I wanted to do. Because I believe that God has something greater for us, for our family. Um, he has something that he wants us to do by faith. Um, I hope this was a help to you. Um, Pray for us as we, we travel around. Um, we're still new to this whole deputation thing, but it is a blessing because right, we get to meet all of you. And uh, thank you for this opportunity, Pastor. And let's pray for the Pastor. Father.